tremendous number of public buildings were built during the New Deal as part of the effort to get the construction industry going again. Among those were 1,100 post offices built all over the country. Post offices in 1930s America were such a critical part of the fabric of everyday life. You pick up your mail, and then you got your stamps, and you saw your friends. When you built large buildings like that, there's a lot of wall space, and that offers a tremendous opportunity for public art. This was all opportunity for employing artists. There were really hundreds, perhaps thousands, of works of art made available to the public in public buildings at that time. Before the New Deal, most Americans didn't come in contact with art at all, unless they were wealthy. But in public spaces, no, you just didn't see it. So the New Deal is a revelation to people because suddenly art begins appearing all over the place as murals, as sculptures. Much of this art is uplifting. It's about being a citizen. People didn't get their portraits taken, everyday people. But when you see an everyday person that could be you or your neighbor or your wife in art, it's a very empowering statement. There are very few towns in the United States that don't have either a New Deal post office and or New Deal art in those post offices. So the post offices become the people's art gallery.